Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mashiachosaurus. With me, as always, is Nick. Hey. And tonight is Never Been Played Night. And our theme for this evening is Mascot Madness. Because, you know, what always makes a really good game that, that the little tykes are going to really love is... A terrible corporate mascot. <laughs> and building a game off of that. So we have a bunch of games that are based on stupid corporate mascots. And I think all of them are terrible. Some more so than others. Anything to get people to buy more stuff. Yes. Or in this case, not buy more stuff because the games are freaking awful. Uh, first up, this one's a little bit of a cheat because this game was never actually released. Uh, it is the California Raisins in the Grape Escape. <laughs> this is a prototype game. They were working on it. I actually but... liked those commercials as a kid and, you know, I, I the, the Christmas cute. special that they were part of. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I love the, uh, the Claymation Christmas special. Oh, great song. I wonder how they got the rights to that. I think it goes along with uh, the California Raisins thing, because they use this in their actual ads. You know, it put it on the great vine. vine. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about plot. Yeah. Let's do normal. Yes, definitely do normal. I'm going to start in the factory, I guess. All right. Yep. Now remember, this is a, a prototype, unfinished game, so like you gotta expect that it's at least a little bit terrible. Well, I guess I can't touch whatever those. Are. Yeah, don't don't touch those mm -hmm. things. Oh, I can throw. Yeah, you can you can shoot. I've got goo. I can goo on things. Hi, Sterling. Yeah, I got nice. the sun. Uh, I don't know why you keep going back that way. Because I can't get out. Entirely possible. Hey, welcome to the stream, Luna. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Oh, you have no idea. No, I, I have some idea. This is terrible. Well, I don't think I can get that sun. So. What I like it. is that the enemies just respawn every two seconds. So. Yeah. Jelly what? Jelly fat. I don't know how you keep getting hit and not dying because you're at like zero. I can climb. Only spit monkeys. Yeah, I agree with you, Luna. It's these mascots are like oh. weird because like nobody's touched the California raisins in like a decade and a half. That was it. Well, let's try a different level, though. Like, maybe... Maybe it gets better. The Maze Maze. That was fast. Yeah, I guess water hurts. Yeah, I mean, you're a raisin, so, like, obviously you can't water. I can't jump either. 
I mean, I think the grapes are capable of jumping. Let's go to the grapevine. The music sucks, at least. Yeah, but, I mean, look at the bright side here. There is no, there, there is no bright side. Actually. Come on, brick. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get those music notes. I don't know what they do. I don't know what they do either. Wait, why is the bunches of grapes your enemy? Shouldn't they be helping you? Oh, because they're youngins. They don't know. They have no respect for us old wrinkled dudes. Well, there was some health up there. I'm still trying to figure out this game. Okay. I mean... Hooray! Right. Game is kind of, uh... Overstating this? Yeah, o overstating it a bit. Let's see what's this way. Sun. Yep. Which you can't seem to get even if you stand on that thing. Splat when he lands. It's a good thing you're getting all these suns. I mean, they don't seem to do anything for you. I can't tell what your health is either. Like, I think that the. I, I, I think thought the, the sun is the health. Is it? I think so. I thought the little grape guy was your health, but I think that's your lives. Well, this is going to be a gigantic pain in the tuchus. Yes. Oh wow, it started to be there. There we go. Can you believe that this is actually the much better version of this ROM? It's actually... It plays smooth at least. It's terrible, but it's, you know, it's not jarring. I don't have to fight with the controls. Just... I mean, it's, you can definitely see that, like, the graphics are, uh, yeah. really placeholder -y. All Oof. right, one last stage. I, uh, I played this... The, the earlier prototype of this, and uh, it was darn near unplayable. I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> it's uh, interesting that they chose the full 3D graphics for this stage only, which don't even particularly fit with the aesthetic that they're going for. This one is just the worst. Let's 
Let's get to this. Hooray, I'm trapped there. Yay! Of course. I'm confused by the layout of this stage. Like, there's stuff that's, like, above you that seems like it shouldn't be, and stuff that's below you that seems like it shouldn't be. I don't think we're going to beat this one. I can't even get through a stage. Yeah. Should we, uh... Yeah, I think I'm done torturing myself. Okay. Well, I mean, you're not done torturing yourself. You're not getting my Cheetos. So, let's move on. This, actually, this, this next one is a bit of a cheat, too. Uh, because this one, while it's based on a product that started as just a commercial spokesman um the uh, uh this actually was its own franchise for a little while i am of course talking about the incredible crash test dummies mm. crash sorry crash dummies crash uh, test dummies was the band yes <laughs> um but so, this was their campaign. It was pretty much trying to get kids to mm -hmm. at least be legal and buckle the mother up. <laughs> yep. Which didn't work. Or maybe it did. I don't know. I don't care. Um. I think it worked. Well, I think what worked more was basically putting legal into it, and just being like, oh, so you don't want to wear your seatbelt? Haha, <laughs> you get fined. And they weren't shy about finding kids either. Yeah. Because they did. Oil oh, okay. And get yeah. Oh, that's a thumbtack or something. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't run over the thumbtacks. It's a wheel body. Why do they have wheel bodies? I don't know. Ouch. I crashed. Yeah. I was just the torso. Which is kind of cool. Okay, so. Oh, I can't crash. And I crashed. It's okay. You'll beat level 1 eventually. There's a steering wheel up there. Harder than Dark Souls. Not good. Not as enjoyable as Dark Souls, but, like, you know. This has had a cartoon show for a while. Yes, it did. I cannot believe that it did, but it did. And a toy line. Again, if this was all to get kids to, like, buckle up. It was... Again, I don't think it was... Probably wasn't that successful. I wouldn't know we didn't have a I, car. It, like, I mean, it, it's again. I really, thought I uh, thought what was more successful was the fact that, oh, kids, you don't want to buckle your seatbelt, and mom gets a ticket. Hey, guess who's not getting a new toy this week? I think that was a little more. Uh, you got you got to dodge those things. Do you want to do it? <laughs> no. I then do shut not. the heck up. <laughs> Zane Easy. He steers like a goddamn tug. Yeah, he looks like it. I mean, it's a JLN game, so... Or L LJN game. Right. That and, you know... While steering like a tug... You aren't necessarily a... Get ready. Loading screen. Why is there a loading screen in goddamn NES? To feel cool. There are... 
Aha! I think he might be invincible. Not anymore. to go ultra fast. Obviously, that's what you need is super fast mode. She's handing me the controller. Have fun for a little while. You won't. I mean, I wasn't intending to. You're not gonna have fun. But I think the biggest problem, and it's something that's difficult to convey, is uh, he's bouncy as fuck, and especially now that I got this balloon icon. Ah. And like you can't. I think we're going backwards. I no, I have I, I fell, mm -hmm. so I lost a crap load of your progress. Eh. I mean, such as this. Like he's bouncy as fuck on this tire, and like when he's bouncing, he cannot actually. He he cannot actually jump when he's bouncing. What? What? No! Why? I lost my head, and now my controls are backwards, and I'm still going super fast. Oh my god. This game's almost unfair. Almost unfair? <laughs> like, my head got knocked off, and the controls reversed. Like, left became right, and right became left. At least they give you a lot of lives. They Thank were like, you. this this game is fucking impossible, but, like, you know, we'll give you a lot of attempts at it, rather than balance the difficulty in any way. It's not even really that the game is hard, it's just, like, everything in it is, like, unavoidable bullshit. I want the can. Give me the can. Give me the can. God damn it, I said give me the goddamn can. It's not giving yeah, just... me the goddamn can. Yeah, I, I have no idea how to use that. Eh. I'm sure there's a way. But... Oh, there's always a way. Isn't that rocket icon just the best power up? No. It's like, hey, oh. would you like to go much faster? And this will make your gameplay experience absolutely worse. I mentioned how bouncy he is, and how when he's bouncing, you can't jump with him. Like, add to that the fact that he's moving super fast and can't stop. He steers like a tug. And, like, Everything you, you kind of get an idea of what it's like when that rocket ship icon goes off. It's, it's basically certain death. Like, you go fast, and it's actually fun to go fast for, like, two seconds because the rest of this game plays so slow. But, it's just, you can't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything for you. you. You end up dying because of it. Nothing about this game is fun. Also, why are these things bouncy pads? Like, are they supposed to be tires on lying on their side or something? Oh yeah, you are invincible. For a little bit. Yeah, for for like Mario three levels of invincibility runs out in two seconds. 
through that thing. Yeah, the only problem is that though that like without it, like this section becomes much more annoying. You just gotta like, you just gotta tedium your way through it. Is all. Yeah, but like I'd rather tedium my way through things. You like that red thing? It it just makes you fall slowly. I like that idea. Hey, do you? No. You know how, like, what he does that little bounce when he lands and you can't jump when he's in the air and stuff? Like, imagine if that bounce was twice as long. See? You might need it, though. Well, I hope you don't, because you don't got it no more. Well, smurf my ass, cheese. Isn't that nice? I like that it doesn't kill you. It puts you back. Let's where, where do you respawn from? Oh yeah, you respawn from down here. So it's actually, if it had killed you, you would have respawned up there and would have been able to proceed with the level. But it didn't. It, it dropped you backwards in the level, and then it killed you, so now you have to go back, and you lost all that progress and have to redo it all. And of course, every enemy, whether you kill them with invincibility, or just skate past them with your little puff attack that hits exactly two pixels in front of you, like, either way, they're gonna respawn anyway. I can't believe you don't want the super rocket boost. Nope. It makes this so much more fun. The sad thing is it does actually make it more fun just because you're going fast. And I'd rather go fast than go slow, even if it means... Fudge nuggets. Yeah, right? Yes, I would say, gotta go fast. <sighs> like, it, at least when you're going fast, you feel like you're making progress. It's stupid progress towards dying, but, like, you're moving in a direction and going places instead of slogging through whatever the hell this is. I don't know what this is. A really... Like, it's not even... It's not even an exceptionally bad platformer by NES standards. It's just, like, incredibly, incredibly planned and stupid. Hooray. Don't you love that? No. I like that when the enemies hit you, like, it's not just, like, you know, Oh, well, I'm gonna take a point of damage. It's, oh, I'm gonna take a point of damage. And... Knock your ass halfway across yeah. the screen in the other direction. Yeah. Just for funsies. Uh. Oh, man. At least the music makes you want to tear your own ears out. I mean, has there ever been an LJN game that had decent music? I cannot think of a single one. Well, I don't know very many LJN games. Uh, I know there's a lot of them, but, you know, we only played a few. There's a ton of them. I just, AV, AVGN actually reviewed every single one of them at one point, but, uh, eh. like, I... I, 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 I don't those. remember, like, most of what he's done. Let me, let me be truthful, I just don't remember, recall, or, oh, hey, even care. I kind of stopped watching AVGN eh. uh, after, like, eh. sometime after Cinemaster got him, like, it's stuff kind of... Eh, I think he was always part of that, but like, like a whole Oh thing. yeah, uh, Luna's right. Uh, in uh, in the LJN version of uh, Back to the Future, which we're definitely gonna have to play at some point, uh, they You're did have that. your plan. I refuse to touch that. They did have a section where they were playing Johnny D. Good at like 16 times speed, and it was like the shittiest possible MIDI rendition of that song. Like, it's so awful that, like, you probably won't even recognize what song it is when it starts playing. Also, it's so far into the game that you probably won't even ever see it. 
You know what? I'm done caring. It's okay. We will beat the first level of something, maybe. No. No, no. probably not. So, um... Let's, uh... Let's go on and move to... I guess it's gotta be that one. Yeah. This is the European version. I think there was a US version of this. And it's Ocean, which is the, it. you know, yeah, European LJN. Yeah. I've heard that this one is okay from people who have played it. I've played it, like, for two seconds. Enough to see it's, if it worked? Yeah, basically. This is, uh... This is a game that is brought to you by diabetes. <laughs> okay, this is a frog. Promising start. This game is brought to you by Corporate Greed. The, the best video, the best NES intro in history started with the frog, so we're good here. Yes, Luna, that is exactly what is going on. Like, you'll see that in uh, RPGs of the time, too. Uh, it's why grinding was such a big thing in RPGs early on. And oddly enough, I love grinding. I love just beating the same thing over and over and over again for, like, multiple levels because I find it chill and relaxing. And yes, I do like Dragon's Quest. It's just... I oh, I love Dragon Quest. I hate playing it, but I love I, I love the game design and stuff, and, like, that stuff. Like, I think Dragon Warrior 3 was, like, my first uh, actual RPG on the NES. My only reason why I don't play them anymore is just lack of time. They take so long, and... I mean... I mean, I might play Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, and other things like that, but... You accomplish stuff after, like, a couple years of gameplay, which takes, you know, a couple of days to do if you really push it. For Dragon Quest, getting anywhere, you're looking at a few months. Okay, so this is good. Alright, I can I, I have no idea what the controls are and stuff in this game. I'm assuming this goes here. Alright. I, I think it's very Mario 2. Well, I guess I can't get this. Meryl? My cat is trying I to I am not trying to box. I murder box. That's a nice lag murder going box. on. I wonder if that's because we're using the What's this? The European version. Eh. We could use the French version, that way we don't understand bad things. I mean, would be hilarious. Would, it, would it really hurt our ability to play this game? No, this game has nothing going for it. Oh, that's convenient. There's a go back to start, filthy scrub button. It's not. I guess I need to be up there, that's what it's telling me. They're sending me back all the way to the beginning. Oh, this music is so pleasing to the ears. It's pure. Uh, this is definitely making me think of McDonald's, though. Like, you know, all the, the mountains and the toadstool things. This is just making me. Yeah, you win! You got nothing! Well, I beat a stage in something. Hey, black kids exist! Well, that's I good on I you. I beat a stage in something. You did. You did. Props to you for that. Yeah. I think ignoring most of the enemies is probably the best bet. <laughs> I 
I think you gotta go down. I went up, so that works for me. Are you being sterling? Are you trying to say hi to the hey, people? Hey, there's an M up there. Yeah, let's get that M. Okay, let's not let's not jump like you. Put okay. that M in your pipe and smoke it. You won't go. You won't get up there. It's just slightly out of reach. You wouldn't think that it would be. You wouldn't think so. Okay, let me try. You are just too shy. It does not want to. Oh, there you thank you. I got you a car. You just gotta get good. This is like Dark Souls. I don't wanna get good. No, it's probably a waste of your time and energy. Definitely feeling that slowdown though. There's yeah, it's very slow. I think that's because we're playing the PAL version. For some reason, I couldn't find a, a ROM on the computer ready to go of the US version of this. I love the respawning enemies, that's very cool really makes me feel like nothing I do matters. And that's awesome that that came back. Which means that if I get a card, but I don't complete the stage, it doesn't matter. Wow. Did exactly the same thing. <laughs> Died to a fish? Yup. A little bit of helpful advice for those of you with a cat or a dog. If you have something to do each day at a certain time, train your pets to remind you when that is. It always oh, you have to recollect that? Yes. Well, that's bull spanky. Yes. So, what I want to do then is I don't want to go. You want me to do it? I don't want to do it, but you want me to do it? <laughs> I do want you to do this. Wow, your hands are really warm good. I'm sorry? You made the controller all funny. I'm sorry that I have hands. Okay, I know you can there we go. So like I know you can pick shit up, I'll go and get picked up. I think the M's are just extra lives. Eh. Like like coins in Mario, you get a hundred of them, you get an extra life. I don't care what they do. I don't care. You get enough of them to get diabetes. <sighs> I hate making precision jumps when he floats. I am Fuck. the captain of the floaty jump. Fuck that. Look at his jump for Christ's sake. I'm gonna take this time. Yeah, that's probably the right way to do this. He's an obnoxious cheese wheel. Yeah, but in fairness, so am I. Oh, hey, you get a boat, now you can not die to the fish. Mm. It's hey, we got at least one card. We've essentially beaten the game. I found a card for Ronald's clubhouse. Oh yeah, we know what kind of club he does. Ooh, 
This music is very, uh, Green Dog. This music hurts me more than I can hurt it. He killed the Flappy Bird! Yeah. He was just trying to fly between those two blocks there. I have no idea how you get to that stuff. Apparently you don't. You just fall and die. Well, that was fun. No, it wasn't. No, it, it really wasn't. Uh, I got one more for you. Of course you do. Yep. It's going to be super great. You'll love it. If you like 7 Up. Can we just play Spy vs. Spy too? Spy vs. Spy? Spy vs. Spy is. Uh, like, I, I know this because I had Spy vs. Spy as a kid. Spy vs. Spy is a terrible game. I still want to play it. <laughs> okay, well. And. I. What am I looking at? Is this a puzzle game? Did they make a 7 Up puzzle game? This just looks like Othello. I don't know how to play Othello. Uh, in Othello, you're just trying to, like... I can't put anything down. Can you pick up the pieces that you have? Okay. Okay. I mean, this this is this this seriously is just straight up Othello. Yeah, this is boring as ball sacks. Yes, it would be. So I can't go here. No, nope. what you want to do is try to put your orange pieces. I suck at this game. Yeah, it's. I suck at Othello. It is. It, it's not. You can play this. Okay. You know me in logic games. They make me feel very dumb because I am not one of those people who can do logic. What? That's not how Othello is played. Logic games. It's a good thing that my idiocy is working in my favor here because, like, I wouldn't have made any of these moves intentionally. Oh, you can't go two. That's two is too far. Yeah. This game sucks. I'm I'm gonna lose to this computer playing this children's game. Well, he is cheap. Couldn't you move this one to here and take like that whole section? Yep. Only for him to move over and do that because he sucks cheese monkeys. Is this entertaining to anyone? Anywhere? No. Oof. 
assistirem. Is that right, cheating? Okay. I've had enough of this. Yeah, that, uh, that, that kind of, kind of sucked. Um, and you need to stop screaming at me. Give me one second, because I realized that I have forgotten to do a thing. Meow, yes, that's you, right. Hey, did somebody already get a meaty steak? The fat tubber? Yeah, something tells me he did. Okay. So why he's screaming at me, I'll never know. So those were fun, but, uh, you know, also, they sucked so bad. You well, the no California idea. Raisins wasn't terrible. It controlled smoothly. It's just it was tough as balls. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if you, like, practiced it and, you know, got good, it might actually be a somewhat not you know terrible what? game. We're on a 7-up kick. <laughs> yeah, Let's... why don't you go see if his food, if he can see the bottom of his food bowls. Okay. This one, I think, is actually a platformer it rather is. than a puzzle game. Because I've played it. So. Well, you've got to tell me these before I pick them for the And when I say played it, I mean literally played it for like five minutes back when I was like 12 when we rented it, and then I said, oh my god, this sucks cheese monkeys. Everybody remembers the spot, the 7-Up mascot from like, that lasted approximately a week. Uh, I mean, this is, uh, you know, it, it looks okay. Um, it looks like it's an actual game. Um, my big question is, why? Like, who on earth needed a 7-Up game? Like, who the hell... This game sucks. Like, I did play it, but I played it for all of, like, five minutes when most of the game. Because we rented it, and then it's just like, this is terrible. Okay, so I can kill enemies, it just takes me like 10 billion shots. I mean, look at how they lovingly rendered. If you go that way. This way? Yeah, you'll see a bubble. I can't. I, am I moving that way? I can't even tell. No, you're supposed to jump off. Oh. 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 Well, I fucked it up. No, just keep doing it. Ah. It's supposed to. It don't matter. It's. You're only 30% cool, though. Is that supposed to be my health meter, then? Is this how cool I am? I think you have to collect cool to actually, like, get through this pouch or something. You have to collect enough things. Oh, man. Like... Okay, great. I don't it's... even remember this mascot. Oh, yeah, the 7-Up spot. Yeah, they... Like, I know it was a thing, I just don't remember it for reasons that make a lot of sense to me in my head. Oh, yeah. Because mascots kind of just... Yeah, why? Well, like, I mean, who cares about mascot games is the thing. I mean, like, obviously our audience should care and should continue to watch this. Oh, yes. Needed that time. The ever drooping spot next to the forty-one percent pool is your life. Yeah, I I get that. I just hey, I hit a checkpoint. Now I've got time and stuff, and these crabs are what? Why? Just why? Why? Why did they do this? Like, like who? 
Who wanted them to do this? Oh, you might check at that lower pocket for your AC to make sure not help. I don't care. I died. I checked the pocket and it killed me. Find Cage! What, like Luke Cage? Is he in this? He can't be because Luke Cage is cool. Uh, who, at this point in history, needed a 7-up game, of all things? Who was the studio exec who was like, you know what? Them kids, they like fucking weak-ass cola. It's not even cola. It's, it, it's, it, it's soda, but it's like water soda. It's sugar water. Even more so than other slogans are. Fucking busting some shade on 7 up here. I've got four and a half minutes to get the rest of my coolness, I guess. I... what do I have to... You have to be 100% cool. Oh, is that it? Yes. So let me guess, you have to get every single... Red dot. ...in the entire stage. Oh, yes. And every single one that I missed... Is... Yep. Well, so this was a cool spot. Um, yeah. I will never play it again. No. Uh, Let's go to the Chester Cheeto ones. Yeah. One of these I actually enjoyed as a kid, and I don't know what that says for me. I think it was Wild Wild Quest that I enjoyed. This one is Chester Cheetah, Too Cool, Too Fool. And, of course, we need uh, a video game based on the Cheeto's mascot. Dashes are. Sure. Let's change it. Button jump? Dash? So, yeah. Uh, at one point, Cheetos tried to make their character into a video game icon. And he got two of these. Well, at least he ain't Bubsy. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's true. I, actually, I think this is the one I played. This definitely seems familiar to me. I think I played this once again all of, like, five minutes when we rented dumb stuff when I was a kid. Yeah, I, I actually enjoyed it when I was, like, a wee tot, but... I think you can go down that... Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, and his life was his life is paws because like that was the new product at the time was Cheetos paws. So they were trying to shill the paws to the little kids. The guitar makes you invincible. Yeah, well I just want to get back up. It's cool the way they put stuff over the, the foreground so you can't see what you're doing. Always a hallmark of a great game. I used to do Mario 3. Mario 3 used it in good ways. Like, this game just puts them wherever. Oh yeah, uh, the uh, 
I, I mentioned that the guitar turns you invincible. I didn't say that it lets you control yourself while you're invincible. You just kind of do your thing. The s glasses, I think, let you see things. Hidden, yeah, hidden stuff in the level. So now it's just dark. Okay, how come I can't jump on things? Because the game is super touchy and you gotta, like, land on them just right. Oh look, more sunglasses. Just what you want when you're in a dark cave. Well, we sit up last. I love the placement too, because they're like super random. Like they're not even like evenly spaced and stuff. You can just tell that the game designers were just like, yeah, whatever. Just fuck it. Yeah, that's kind of what I do when I'm if I was a game designer. Just fuck it. Kids don't care. You might as well just let him go. That's not what I'm coming back to. I thought there was another I guess not. <laughs> it's a good thing they didn't give the cheetah any kind of, like, you know, natural weapons or attacks, like claws or teeth. You know, the fast food mascot that eats things. I don't see what he would use to the teeth. I love how super random it is, too, whether you will, like, kill something or just stun them. I have no idea what the wheels down there are. Alright, could you please go up? Thank you. And yeah, we'll find out. Controlling him is yeah. easy. Yeah, I know. Oh no, it's a boss! You're basically good, yeah. You're supposed to dodge his, like... Apparently. They made it really subtle. I would like to remind you guys that uh, they made a sequel to this, so... They thought that this was a good idea enough to actually make another one. It's not even, like, I can't even say that this is a bad game, because it's not. It's just an incredibly bland and boring game. There's, there's no thought put into any of this shit. It's just, like, random That's bullshit. Boring. Oh, you didn't get a perfect bonus. Mm, don't care. Not sure what that would mean. Okay, so I guess you're collecting parts of your motorcycle. Yeah. Which, as a cool cat, you would obviously need to. Yeah, okay. Okay, and you would go from the zoo to the jungle, that makes sense. Watch out for those tree hedgehogs.
why. Oh, I think I climbed those vines, I don't know how. Room. I I or whatever it's cute. I love games where each maze each level is essentially a maze. I also love games that have no mercy in its ability. Just remember, you don't want to beat this too fast because you got another one to play next. It doesn't help that the second you get your shoes, you run around like a jackass. Yep. Guitar solo that you can't control that does nothing. Well, now I got a monkey. Seriously? Pot, 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 pot. Okay. Obviously, you need to go up from here. That's what I have to do. I hate the uh, freaking runny legs, though. Oh, I had enough of this. Okay, let me see. What he controls like a jackass. Oh yeah, I mean obviously. He has two modes of transport, uh, slow. super slow and what the fuck are you running? So, sort of light speed. Ah. Yeah, I don't know how to control the other one. I stopped playing it as a kid. I think Good I job, beat man. it as a kid. Believe it or not. I stuck with it that long. I'm sorry. But why? I don't know. Were you just like, well, you rented it on a Friday and this is your entire weekend? It was probably something along those lines, yeah. And it was raining or snowing or too cold to go out or you were sick. It's the only reason I could see to play this for longer than any time on it. Ugh. Okay. Chester. At least there's no time limit. Yeah, seriously, a time limit is the only bit of fuckery that they could have added to this to make it worse. I, I, I'm the really music struggling. The is actually starting to kill my head. <laughs> I'm really, so I'm really starting to hate the, uh... The vine mechanic because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It just throws you backwards if you're not fast enough. Okay.
Oh, man. So to give you guys an idea here, if you just press the dash button like I am right now, he does nothing. But if you press the dash button in a direction, then he'll start to do his little his thing. dance. Yeah. But you have to hold the direction down in order to get him to actually dash. Like, as soon as you stop with the direction... Ah, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. This way. Missed your skateboard. I missed the skateboard. Hey, you get to do it all over again. Yep. I'll be right back. To describe the controls as sluggish to respond would be understating it by quite a bit. Ah, here we go. There. Alright, now I have the skateboard. Now what the heck do I do with it? on this side of them. I got my skateboard. Good job. I just gotta get to wherever it is that this... Uh, this is painful, guys. The music is enough to make you want to, like... Get tons and tons and tons of bags of Cheetos and throw them into a volcano. Just to see what would happen. Well, at least you're here. I am so here. Oh, hey, the monkey is gonna get me my my bike part. Yes! I'm very proud of my mad skills at Chester Cheetah, too cool to fool. So, at this rate, there's like four stages, right? You get a bonus stage. Take that, you bulldozing dog. Unclear on your relationship with Chester Cheetah, and it makes me angry. Spuds McKenzie? Maybe. Okay. You're totally shrewd, dude. Yeah. Um, this game. 
But look at this cool little guy. The thing is cool. I want a plushie of him. Find me a plushie of that rad snake. Look at these uninterested snails. I can see how that hurt me because, I mean, why wouldn't it? Water instantly disintegrates your repair. I mean, it would, wouldn't it? Okay, that's... That's enough of that, BS. That's That's enough of that. We got a sequel. Yes. Here you go, Nick. Take on Chester Cheetah Wild Wild Quest. This one may or may not work. I think this one I've had trouble with emulating. So, okay. you know, if it doesn't work, then... Uh, well, it'll be fun. It'll be short-lived. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Chester, don't care. So yeah, they made a sequel to that last game. Wow, look at the effort they put into the like fucking background. I mean, they they definitely ripped that and like digitized it and stuff. Oh, let's so. go with option. Config. Config. Do you want your controls to suck or suck real hard? Uh, it's the controls we've been using. I don't care about difficulty. I'm not going to get very far. Burp, 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 burp. I, I can't see an indication of where you're selecting. Your Furica? I was said so at the top. Yeah. I'm a little faster now. Well, I mean, that's an improvement. Can you climb? This seems like it's more of a platformer. I mean, the other one was a platformer He's too, but it's a bad one. Good with this. Well, I mean, can any of us say that we're good at what we think to do? I mean, like. I'm Have you played this one? Uh, no, I never played this one. It's a trip. I, uh. Oh, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, he controls way worse. Yeah, how do you jump exactly? Same button as before. Is it? No surprise. Oh, he's got a double jump. But yeah, it's it, it's different. It's uh. Oh, it's slightly backwards. Yeah. You you have it set so that uh. X and uh, uh, um, X and A are jump, and Y and B are dash. I'll never use the dash. It sucks. I've noticed that the dash is somewhat useless. And yeah, okay, you yeah. You get, you get hit, and then you eat Cheetos. Provided you found them. If you didn't, you died instantly. This one's way worse. Yeah, and there's a time limit, I see. So I guess you gotta gotta go fast here. The first one was way better. Yeah, surprisingly, the uh, like the graphics Hi, on the graphics on this one are better, but like the, the gameplay is so much worse. My sister Sim is here. One of them. Oh, okay. So Well that uh, was god awful. Oh, uh, you ain't seen nothing yet, baby. You wanna play awful. Here you go. Super Troll Islands. Based on the extremely short lived fad of those troll dolls that don't even look anything like a troll. These are your controls. B and A jump. X tornadoes and Y is a blob. Okay. Well, at least I know what I'm doing. Having nightmares. Yes, this game is nightmare fuel. Let's go with the pink haired one. Pink! Pay attention to me. So basically, your option, your, your, your role in this is to color your world. Yes. 
everything in it is appropriately depressed at being in this game. Okay. Ladders. Work with me. What? Wait, whoa. Do that again. I'm trying. He, he's really, uh... He's yeah, really happy! Like, when he climbed the ladder, his head was backwards, facing the screen. I don't know what the point of this is. Like, I don't know if these items, like, can be eaten or what. Uh, I'm just and then my... it does this. <laughs> Ugh. And the bouncy text, and oh my god, this is just so terrible. I don't know how to collect the treasures. I guess these are treasures. I guess. Yeah. Look at that tree. Very unhappy tree. Everything about this makes me very unhappy. Look at that! Look at him climb like that. Yeah, it's. There's no words for the nightmare that this is. He jumps like space. Yeah, it's he. He will jump like ten million miles into the air. Man, you're just so excited. Like, I can't even call it moon gravity, because it's is more it, like is... friggin' like, micro-gravity. He seems to jump less high. Are there actually differences between the characters? Oh my god, I hate it when he does that. Like, this guy seems less out of control than the other one. Yay! Look at that smug ass tree in the background. It's like, fuck yeah. Did I do everything? Yes, you did. It just takes like an hour for the level to end. If you don't have nightmares now, you certainly will soon. <laughs> oh man. The sad thing is this isn't even the worst game we're gonna play tonight. The fact that they get worse. I dare you to control this game. Like I friggin' dare you. Uh, de oh dear lord. What? He ate it. He bubbled it in jelly, and he ate it. You know, like, it's so much worse when it's a troll doll and not Yoshi. Like, if it's Yoshi eating something, it's cute and harmless. And why does that thing, like, shoot down like a rocket? Don't care. <sighs> Ugh. Oh man. This game makes me sick to watch it. Like, it just, everything moves at, like, hyper speed. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah, go, oh, Jesus. go grab Jesus, troll me. face. Don't <laughs> do that. Oh, my God. This feels like it probably doesn't end. It's got to end, right? I mean, it's not like Pac-Man. They're not repeating the same stage over and over again. They're so happy about murder. They're like, wow, chomp. I get to eat your soul. Mm. 
Mmm, sauce! So sickening to watch. Oh yeah, you definitely want to grab those uh, tornadoes. Oh, I missed the tornado. You can actually do the tornado move. It's uh, uh, what would be X on an SNES controller. I don't know what they call the button on our controller. Oh, I'm just having fun. Are I'm giving you? you nightmares. I mean, that's basically what this is. This is like this is ridiculously. This terrible. is a nightmare. Like, I don't see the little really. the the little baby voices are not making it better either. No, it's like it's like I'm watching friggin' boobahs over here or something. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Jesus. Yeah, I don't care, troll boy. And it just goes on like this. Yes. Like, if you were expecting this game to get good at some point, like... It doesn't. You obviously have not been paying attention so far. This game does not get good. Oops. This game does not get playable. Oh, it's playable. It's just you don't want to. You have one cupcake left. Oh, okay, you got limited number of those little blobby things. So you used them all up, and now, eh. now you're doomed forever. Ugh. If I could eat things. But you can't. <sighs> this game. Well, I died. No, uh, oh, now you're the ginger. Wait, did he just snore as he went through? Maybe. Wow, he is... Oh good, you got the fast one. Because the other ones weren't fast enough. That was my problem with them. Was that the game so far had been so slow paced. Jesus. Well, I'm done with that. Oh. No. Try I'm again, never. brave troll. Look at that nightmare fuel of a face there. Jesus. <laughs> My eyes hurt from that. Oh, well, your blood's going to hurt from this. Yep. Because everybody knows the famous Captain Novelin. <laughs> you know, the mascot for Novelin brand insulin for diabetics. If you're not familiar, uh, just zero, 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 just, if you're not familiar <laughs> This is a game this, that teaches you about managing your diabetes. Yes, it <laughs> seriously is, uh, except that it doesn't teach you jack freaking shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Captain Novelin's superpower is that he has diabetes and he's easily defeated. Hmm. You can check it more often, if you like. So now you have to, like, find the correct dose for your blood glucose. Yes, this is Captain Novelin. Uh, I think it's one down. I think it's that one. It won't let me do anything with it. I don't know what button to push. L or R, maybe? It just keeps. Oh, I was. I was too. You were wrong. 
Okay, yeah, don't forget to take the insulin dose I prescribed. We've come a long way in medicine. Okay. So now you gotta select dosage. Yes. Okay. Usual. <laughs> in your breakfast meal plan, you could have peanut butter toast, half a banana. I'm just blatantly stealing that bit from him. Because <laughs> it was funny. And then, so, yeah. So, peanut butter yes, toast. Yes, this is, banana. I believe, specifically type 1 diabetes, uh, Luna. Yeah, because as a type 2 diabetic myself, my breakfast is two eggs, veggies, some cheese, and a V8, usually. I might have a bagel if I'm feeling really hungry, but usually not. Like. So, this is Captain Novelin. He can jump really high. You gotta collect good foods for breakfast. And not walking milk. Sugary foods give you an instant tummy ache. Yes. Oh, maybe I was supposed to collect that. Probably, but you can't go backwards. I'm sure there'll be more. Bowl of cereal. Well, okay. See, the, the nice thing about Captain Nobleland is that he's uh, really easy to control. The donuts look like... You oh, know, I already got a banana. Sorry. The donuts look like, uh, like World War II anti-Jewish propaganda. Yeah, they really do. It's... Then I'll get my milk. That's my breakfast. Morning snack. There was an apple and... Getting clobbered by a donut and dying. Yep. Captain Novelin, easily defeated by donuts. And a cracker. One apple, not two apples. Hmm. Which does not help treating diabetes. Unless you're watching that commercial about diabetes, because that. <laughs> Oh, hey, your blood glucose is in, <laughs> in the safe zone. <laughs> Carrot, grapes, tuna sandwich, and glass of milk. I mean, this is literally making you it's eat... the smuggest doctor. Literally, like, six times a goddamn day. I only eat, like, four times a day. He also looks kind of like, uh... What's that one... Like, Sunken City or whatever, where all the, all the characters look like they're, like... Lovecraftian fishmen. I was gonna say, it kind of looks like Fal Fat Albert lost like a few pounds, so like everything's kind of sagging. <laughs> Rather than being... Maybe. <laughs> hey, hey, kids. I'll try not to rape anybody this time. Yeah, lots of exercise. For instance, running away from... Hey, I dogs. jumped over you, dog dog. I guess that's my tuna sandwich. I guess you're supposed to jump and then well, You're supposed to die, is what's what's going on here. I, yeah, you can't like, avoid anything. You can't fight. Like, I, um, you're actually farther in this game than I've ever been. Like, that cookie will just murder me. He, he just randomly changes his pattern, it was like... Oh, I get to do that all again. Yep. Such a great hero this guy is. You're on your last life, by the way. Yeah, it don't matter. I mean, I, I know you're just itching to play more Captain Novelin. Like... <sighs> I know, you can't dodge anything. This is, this is Mega Man and base all over again. Nothing, you don't have any warning that anything is coming. And I can't even fake out the cookie. Well, I could really go for a cookie right now. As a diabetic hearing, I could really go for a cookie! <laughs> ah, your turn. <laughs> like, no thanks! Oh. 
I've played Captain Novelin before, and I know enough to uh, to not take you up on that. But yes, Captain Novelin found out of a diabetic coma. Yes, he and got, the got, world <laughs> is got, richer for having lost him. I I appreciate what. Oh they Oh my tr- god! You can't. Yeah, it's over. You you literally have to. Like, oh no, wait it's not. It out. It's, you gotta. Yeah. You have to just wait out the depression of. All right, let's. Like I said, I can appreciate. Let's try to do this. Yep, months. Yep. Normally. I can appreciate what they're trying to do because children are more likely to have type one diabetes than adults. I'm gonna to try to play this as long as possible. You have to put it at the right spot, otherwise it'll just squawk at you. Really? Yes. Lame. Yes. You have no choice. I, I have a choice. I can turn this off. Yes, okay. but if you do a that... Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. That's a useful tip, I guess. Anyway, you can see how Captain Novelin is protecting the city by... Uh, like I said, I can appreciate what of... they're trying to do. Because it's kids that... Develop. Usually type 1 diabetes. Diabetes? Type 1, which is pretty much they're born and their pancreas has just decided, yeah, I don't work for you. I want to talk to an NPC. What's with the BG? You're a little higher. Okay. It makes you test. You check. Mm. Oof. Took a soda in the gut the other day. Like I said, I can appreciate what they're trying to do. Oh, good. I just randomly mashed buttons and got that one. Like I said, I, I appreciate what they're doing because... Education. But unfortunately, a lot of this is outdated information. The cookie will fuck you up. Yeah, like, fuck that guy. Seriously. Oh, good, I have a duck move. I can see no possible use for that since none of the enemies come at me high, but... I don't want that tuna, do I? No. You already got a tuna sandwich. I think if you hit the BG, you can get a... I don't remember what he said for an afternoon snack. Pretzels and cheese, I think. Let's face it, it's it's always like there's there's never anything that you're not supposed to get. But you're not supposed to collect too many of them. Yeah, yeah, you just you, you only want one. One of each and then you're good. You yeah. already got a pretzel. Ugh, Jesus. Yay. Good job! The thing is, I know we've, uh... Hmm. Chicken leg, potato, green salad, cherries, and rolls. I take back wanting to speak to an NPC. Oh god. Is this a bad guy? Chicken leg. 
the bad guys are all huge. Like, everything is terrifying in this game. Yeah, that wasn't a chicken leg, that was a roll. That was a chicken I've got my chicken leg, I've got my roll, I've got my mashed potatoes. There's your salad. Why do they Flying all have salad? Why do they all have creepy ass tentacle arms? You notice that in cherries. That's it. Oh, red vine. Satan. You already had a chicken leg. That is a roll. That was a chicken leg. No, that was a roll. That was a chicken leg. It was standing on the little nub, like the joint part. This is definitely a chicken leg. I mean, the bottom answer. The bottom one is like more. Because my parents will be weird at me, and so will my doctor. Turkey sandwich and a glass of milk. He's literally had like. God, he eats more than I do. Also, you God shouldn't damn. be eating this late. It's hard. You get so sick. hard to dodge. Doctors recommend that you Ugh. do not. I repeat, do not eat after eight o'clock if you're like in bed by midnight or so. It's just not good for the body to digest and trust me. I said, it's just the information is so outdated in this game, it's kind of laughable. Okay, well, I've, I've got my... Wow. I've got my tuna, I've got my glass of milk. It's a turkey sandwich, not a tuna sandwich. Well, then why was it a can of tuna that I picked up? It was a sandwich. Hey, he's shooting at me. And down you went. It's a travesty. Oh my god. Why am I doing this to myself? Cause See, he says turkey sandwich, but it's, it's tuna. Okay, it said alcohol something something. You're going to die. Captain Novelin is way too young to be drinking. Look at him. Yes. You know he's just a 12 year old. I think just he's like got him. fetal alcohol syndrome. Perfectly honest. <sighs> I've actually known a couple of type 1 diabetics in my life. They don't eat this skimpily. Like, yes, you have to be more careful. Yes, you know, with all. Uh, with all diabetes, you have to be careful. You can't just. Those goddamn cookies are the bane of my existence. I know, right? They're such a bitch. Like, you, you can't. Fake them out or anything, they're, they're very random. Okay, yeah, exercise will affect your blood sugar differently, so don't ever try it. Look at that shit. You can't. Yeah. And you only get four hits, and they toss like eight cookies at you. Yeah. And Novalin runs so fast. That he just runs into is he? he can't fight. No, he cannot. So that's game over. So that was the entirety of the game, Captain Noble. And there is nothing after that. I am pretty confident. Um, I'm sure there's an end boss. No, but... there's no, there's no ending. It's just it keeps going until you die of <laughs> diabetic coma. Um, so. There we have it. Uh, lots of mascot games. Lots that of mascot never games. Never should have been made. None of them were good. Uh, that one Chester Cheetah game was playable, and that is about the best that we found. Like, um, I'm pretty sure we could have gotten further if we just, you know. I mean, you're collecting bike parts. It wasn't a hard game. It was just. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I beat it when I was a kid. It's so. tedious. The second it's, one is just god off. Yeah, the, the second like, one. I, it's it's amazing because they they got some things right from the first one, but then like they got so much wrong. Or you could play Spot Othello. Uh, yeah, that was uh, a thing.
it's not even real Othello, because in Othello, you put uh, your colors on the ends of theirs, and it turns everything in between color. Theirs, what, their version is, wherever they land, it turns everything they touch a different color. And, oh my god, it's stupid, and I hate it. It's like I said, I have no problem with Captain Nobelin as, like, a game, because it does teach kids. Unfortunately, the way medicine moves, that information is probably severely outdated at this point. Yeah, it's... it's There's better it's, treatment options. Yeah. There's, I mean... I mean, you shouldn't be we, taking we, diabetic we were, we were advice from video told, games anyway. Like, less than ten years ago... As a diabetic, you shouldn't eat pasta. Yeah. Well, now we know that it doesn't really impact our glycemic index, so you can have some pasta. Yeah. It's but before it was just like no, stay away from all grains, all pastas, all rices. And speaking of stay away though, stay away from mascot games. They're awful. <laughs> they're they're really bad. Stay away. Oh my god, they suck. They're horrible. And until next time, folks, keep looking for games that you haven't played. Uh, you know, so that we don't have to keep doing these. We want to keep doing these. No.